The lawsuit brought by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission against Ripple Labs, the company behind Ripple, XRP, has proven to be one of the most important regulatory battles in the history of cryptocurrency. In 2020, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs, alleging that it conducted an unregistered securities offering through the sale of its XRP tokens worth $1.3 billion. The lawsuit argued that XRP should be classified as a security, similar to stocks or bonds, and therefore would be subject to SEC regulation. A three-year court battle between Ripple Labs, the developer of the Ripple blockchain, and the SEC took a major turn. A federal judge ruled that the network's XRP token was a security when Ripple sold it to institutional investors a number of years ago, but not to the general public. However, in a major development, U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres ruled partially in favor of Ripple on July 13, 2023. U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres' main reasoning was that institutional investors were more likely to be aware of XRP securities-like traits when being pitched by Ripple back then. Although, the so-called programmatic investors, those who buy XRP directly on a crypto exchange, like retail traders, weren't as clued in. Both Ripple and the SEC would have reason to view this outcome as a potential win, as it gives credence to the security or not debate on either side. The ruling, issued by the District Court for the Southern District of New York, stated that the offer and sale of XRP on digital asset exchanges did not amount to offers and sales of investment contracts. The federal judge also ruled that XRP is a security when sold to institutional investors as it met the conditions set in the Howey test. The SEC Ripple lawsuit is important for crypto as it could provide clarity regarding the regulatory status of cryptocurrencies and how they are classified by the SEC. If the court had agreed with the SEC, it could have set a painful precedent for how other cryptocurrencies are treated, potentially leading to increased regulation and oversight in the industry. This would impact not only Ripple and XRP, but also other projects that have conducted initial coin offerings, ICOs, or token sales. Instead, Ripple secured a partial win, setting a precedent that should have a positive impact not only on XRP, but also on the broader crypto market. So, can Ripple's win against SEC challenge SEC's jurisdiction over crypto? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. The crypto industry has been facing regulatory pressure from the SEC amid increased calls for regulatory clarity in the sector. Specifically, the Commission has taken enforcement action against some major crypto exchanges like Kraken and Bittrex, as well as the crypto lending platform Nexo. More recently, the SEC joined forces with other regulatory agencies and filed a complaint against the CEO of bankrupt crypto lender Celsius, Alex Mashinsky. The court filing by the agency includes four counts of fraud and one count of securities violation. The complaint argues that Celsius, CEL, and its earned product should be classified as securities. However, the SEC's most high-profile complaint came last month when the agency sued both Binance and some of its affiliates, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, and Coinbase, the largest U.S.-based cryptocurrency exchange. In each case, the SEC claimed that several tokens listed by the exchanges are unregistered securities, including dozens of popular cryptocurrencies like Binance native token BNB, Solana, Cardano, Polygon, Filecoin, Cosmos, Sandbox, Decentraland, Algorand, Axie Infinity, and Cody. Following the recent ruling in the SEC Ripple lawsuit, many of these tokens may no longer be considered securities under the new precedent. However, each token's case may still need to be clarified in court. The prices of many of the named tokens soared following the ruling as investors expected a return to normal. This is a significant opinion that has the potential to change the landscape of the SEC's enforcement efforts or the success of those efforts, said Teresa Goody Guillen, a former attorney with the SEC Office of the General Counsel and now a partner with law firm Baker Ostedler. This is also helpful precedent for Coinbase and Binance to defend against allegations that they are operating as unregistered securities exchanges, brokers, and clearing agencies. A number of other legal experts further noted that the federal judge's ruling may have essentially declared token sales on retail exchanges weren't investment contracts under the law, and thus, the tokens are not securities. Even though XRP coins sold to institutions such as hedge funds and the like were deemed securities. 
the court rejects the view that cryptocurrency tokens are securities, which has previously led to widespread confusion, Jeffrey Alberts of Prior Cashman LLP reportedly said, adding that the judge had clarified in a ruling that crypto tokens are not themselves securities. Now to our main focus for the day, why is Ripple yet to celebrate its win against the SEC? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. While many crypto pundits have rejoiced about Ripple's recent partial win, others noted that the industry's fight for regulatory clarity is likely far from over. Preston Byrne, partner at Brown Rednick and a crypto entrepreneur, said the SEC is currently reviewing the decision, claiming that the agency might challenge the ruling. The Ripple summary judgment is obviously not the last word on the issue, Byrne said in a recent tweet, noting that even if Ripple accepts the win, the firm still got multi-billions of dollars in institutional sales that they're on the hook for. Others also claimed that the summary judgment may not have a strong foundation and may not result in the desired change in the way the crypto industry is treated by the SEC. Joe Castelluccio, leader of law firm Mayor Brown's Fintech Group, said that the SEC will likely highlight the parts of the court decision that support their views on coins and tokens as securities. Castelluccio also emphasized that the case does not offer clarity on the various other regulatory issues faced by the digital assets sector. Could the SEC address the court's issue by making sure what counts as a security is clear to the general public going forward? Hmm, maybe. Well, that tactic has been a hallmark of several of the watchdogs' lawsuits against crypto companies such as Binance, Coinbase, and Gemini this year. It named a number of tokens like Polygon's Matic and Algorand's ALGO that could one day face the same walk as XRP. However, the court disagreed with large swaths of the SEC's argument as to why XRP was a security, citing the Supreme Court's Howey test. Among them was the fact that secondary market buyers were never promised anything by Ripple itself, something that is true of most exchange-traded instruments. Some are taking this early decision to mean Coinbase and others accused of listing potential securities may now be in the clear, at least when it comes to the general public buying on their exchanges. But while the possible disruption of forcing retail-facing businesses to register or reinvent their business model is possibly avoided, that's only one side of things. Many successful crypto projects these days rely on early sales of their tokens to institutional investors and venture capitalists prior to their public launch in order to get off the ground. They often pre-register those efforts with regulators to avoid any potential repercussions. Many on the SEC's list of possible securities had conducted these types of arrangements, and the SEC cited those examples as reasons the tokens should fall under its remit. With the present ruling, that type of prefunding might be done for, unless VCs fancy buying on the open market when prices are subject to the same volatility as everyone else. It should be noted that the SEC's to-do list on crypto is getting longer by the day. The watchdog was one of four authorities filing charges against bankrupt crypto lender Celsius and its former CEO Alex Mashinsky. They faced a lengthy series of court hearings and trials ahead with its complaints against exchanges like Binance and FTX. Although, Mashinsky has denied the allegations. The Ripple case is also far from over, set to get its own trial date in due course. So while crypto may be celebrating with prices soaring across the board, there are enough uncertainties to leave the sector with a cause for concern. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.